The popular series The Chosen Season 4 may not be coming out to streaming as quickly as fans had hoped. One group, however, is working to get the popular TV series about Jesus and his disciples to viewers, aiming to reach a billion people, including one overlooked population, by streaming it free to inmates in prisons across the country. CBN's Billy Hallowell has a story. Dallas Jenkins, creator of The Chosen, recently shared that season four would be delayed to its loyal streaming audience. While various issues are holding up the general release, Stan Jantz of the Come and See Foundation tells CBN News the new season is transforming lives. There are some prisons where they can watch on iPads, it's approved and they can watch just that content, but where they can watch it in community, they're seeing tremendous results. This came about thanks to a partnership with Prison Fellowship, which ministers to inmates and their families. We're seeing that this is a tool that they're using to engage these inmates and then, as chaplains then, take them through that discipleship journey. In addition to those screenings, Prison Fellowship President and CEO Heather Rice Minus says The Chosen is also available on Floodlight, a streaming platform for inmates created during the COVID-19 pandemic. The impact has been profound. One of my favorite stories uh, of this partnership has been at the Carol Vance Unit, our very first Prison Fellowship Academy, where we have men going through a year-long transformation process, um, really digging into why they came here um, to prison. And it's been so exciting for them. They've had these watch parties of the seasons as they've come out, um, and we've just been seeing such amazing transformation in the men as a result of the opportunity to see the authentic Jesus. And really being able to resonate with the disciples that Jesus chose to be part of the, the greatest awakening the world's ever known. And I think they really resonate that with that in the position that they're in. Rice Minus believes bringing the chosen into this journey is scriptural and offers healing by pointing inmates to lasting hope in Christ. I look to Hebrews 13, which says, remember those in prison as if you were there with them. Um, that's our call is to know that Jesus came for everyone. And he especially, as so so brilliantly demonstrated in the Chosen series, he especially came for the least and the lost. As for Jance, he prays the Chosen's impact stretches even further. And for every prisoner, there's a family, right? There are there are people that are involved with that person. And I think that the not just what happens in the prison and with that individual, but then it can also reverberate through the communities that they're a part of or have been a part of. And I think that healing that can take place, too, of maybe there's been resentment or confusion or whatever kind of happens when, when someone is incarcerated. And, uh, and yet this healing that can take place, I think it gives hope. In addition to making the message of the chosen available in prisons and churches, Come and See Foundation is helping to take it worldwide by translating the program into 600 languages. Billy Hollowell, CBN News. Going into all the world, including prisons. Well, to find out how you can help the Come and See Foundation expand its distribution of the chosen, just go to CBNNews.com.